Hello and welcome to Let Us Farm. My name is Emily Fong with Noel Oge of Let Us Farm. So today we'll be talking about a very important topic. So I may have to be using systems to, you know, do some explanations for us to understand because what we are talking about today is probiotics. The reason why I decided that, okay, let's talk about probiotics is that many of us on the internet, we misunderstand a lot of things because probably some people try to like market things to us and they try to mumble everything and sell to us tick line and sinker. And the reason why it happens is that, you know, you are thinking of something that it's not possible. And then somebody sees it as an avenue to sell that thing that you think is possible when it's not possible. So we mumble up a lot of things and at the end of the day, we get crashing. So we're going to be discussing about probiotics. I will tell you everything I understand about probiotics and what probiotics really means. So try sit back and listen attentively. If there are places you feel that, okay, you don't get it, use the comment section. And if there are things again, you want me to come and re-explain, use the comment section. So let us learn together. I'll be right back to discuss this. Okay, so let's talk about probiotics. What do you understand by probiotics? Yeah, using things that are not antibiotics in catfish farming, the main aim is to reduce drug intakes in fish farming. It's not necessarily catfish farming, it's generally fish farming. The main idea of probiotics is using things that are not synthetic, they are not drugs in solving cat sickness, catfish sicknesses or fish sicknesses. They are using microorganisms, you know, we, that are introduced into aquatic, aquatic culture to reduce one the effects of using drugs on your catfishes two to improve the digestive system of uh, your catfishes or your fishes generally you know and three to make safe and clean environment for your fishes to thrive this is what these things mean that is introduction of microorganisms in your aquaculture to one improve the health of your fishes reduce drug intake of your fishes and improve the digestive system of your fishes okay this is what it means so it's used not just in aquaculture even in other agri practices now but the problem here is that some people misunderstand it. They think that probiotics is just having your catfishes and things like that. First of all, understand something. You can only use probiotics in an in a controlled environment. So if your catfish farm is not controlled, it is very, very impossible for you to use probiotics. If you have a fish, open fish farm, anything goes there. It's not control, but if you have a catfish farm where you control movement of anything going inside the pond, leaving the pond, you see that it's in a controlled environment. People don't just control inside anything in the pond. And so all this, you have to put all these barriers, all these limitations. You don't want people to go there and spoil the ecosystem of the water that your catfish is living. So this is how you control the environment. It's not because, okay, I'm using probiotics. Small time people just go to the pond and put in anything they want in the pond, you know, that's not gonna work. So this is the essence of probiotics. Now, let us get to the other phase of probiotics. So if you are a poultry farmer, I will give you a very good example of what probiotics means. There are some vaccines that you use. The, those vaccines are live organisms that you inject inside the animal, inside the uh, poultry. Example, is um any vaccine like your lasota vaccine so what you are injecting into the bed is the life organism that is preserved that's why they tell you that if it defrosts it's not going to work so you inject it inside the poultry bed so it forms a head immune system so meaning that it when it forms the head immune system the infection that's supposed to come down as a result of that infection 
will not be able to enter because it already has that same thing in the body of the organism you get so in in a aquaculture you introduce these microorganisms inside the water that these fishes are living in so the fishes cohabit they live together with these microorganisms so when they live like this is some, something that is supposed to disturb the fishes this is a sickness that's supposed to worry the fishes but the microorganisms that will cause this problem is introduced inside that water that the fishes are living in when they are introduced since they are now living with the fishes, they can't cause any harm with the fishes because they are now together. I don't know if I'm, I'm I don't know if you understand it. Just like bringing in your enemy to live with you, and automatically your enemy will not have the mind to harm you. That is just the um, breakdown. So the question is now: How do you uh, perform or how do you practice probiotics? for the best result in your fish farm remember everybody cannot get it right personally i don't do probiotics because there are a lot of things that are needed for probiotics and it doesn't favor me and generally catfish farming basically it's different people that say they use probiotics if you go and check what they do is not probiotics if they want to practice the real probiotics they will get fed up and they will leave it that's the truth so i'm going to try to break it down for you here so that you understand what and what is involved in probiotics the common types of probiotics you have lactic acid bacteria remember what i said about introducing you know your when you are staying with your enemy it becomes your friend so you have lactic acid bacteria so example of lactic acid bacteria is lacto Balosis. pardon me about the pronunciation of these things they are not as easy as it sounds so so the advantage of using this is that it's going to improve the gut and the health of your catfish and improve the water quality of your catfish remember what i said most people that practice it don't even know what it is now like i said now example of this is lactobaliosis so what this does the ingredient in lactobalosis is lactic acid bacteria you get so what this is supposed to do is to break down is to improve the gut health and inhabit harmful bacteria in the water you see this is what it does okay now another one is baliosis spp what this does is that it breaks down organic matter and improve water quality what did i call it Baliosis SPP. It breaks down the organic matter and improves water quality. Another one is the yeast. So, what does the yeast do? It enhances digestion and immune function. So, now, how do you use probiotics? Remember, I have mentioned three categories of probiotics one is for bacteria, two is to improve water quality. Three is to improve digestion. <laughs> Three different items for probiotics. So, how do you apply probiotics? You apply it direct to the feeding. That's a method of application. So, you mix it with the feed, with the feed that you want to give to the catfish. Another one is you apply it inside the water, the water in the pond. Mm -hmm. Then the third one is by Bioflux system. So probiotics are used in Bioflux technology to create self-sustaining ecosystem where microbes, microbes convert waste into usable nutrients. Okay, now we have now had the three different types of probiotics and we have heard what they do. Now, if you understand this very well, you discover that probiotics doesn't mean that you put your catfish in a pond and you don't change the water. No. You have to add these microorganisms inside the water. These microorganisms will now do the work of your nitrogen recycle system to keep the water purified. So you got to spend money. Why I'm saying this is that, you know, people think that probiotics, you don't spend money. There was somebody that chatted me and was asking me about probiotics. So when I explained to him that, you know, there are things surrounding probiotics, he said no, that he was told that when he leaves the catfish for a while, they become used to the environment. I said no, this is not what it completely means. 
you have to add something to improve it now some people will be disturbing now where can i buy it where can i i don't know because there is no place i can guarantee you to go and get these things in nigeria but see come on For, forget about maybe people saying that they practice it they do what are the ingredients you use to produce this how is it certified remember catfish business is a very big capital intensive business so if you want to gamble with the activities of catfish, well, it's all left for you. Go ahead, gamble. What When you succeed, you succeed. When you lose, you lose. After all, people put money in bets in Nigeria and they lose and people will still gain. So it depends on what you want to do. The reason why I'm trying to break this down for us to understand is that let us even understand what is the meaning of probiotics and why do we use probiotics. Like somebody said, he said he uses probiotics and he guarantees that the fishes will not die. I said it's a lie. Why? Every living thing must die. So you, you introduce this microorganism in the pond. You introduce them through the feed through the water or through the bioflux system in the pond. The idea is that they live with these things and make them become immune to the external bacteria attack. What you never prevented is that as a living thing, any of the organs can shut down. Probiotics doesn't mean that the organs in the catfish cannot shut down. You know that as a human being, you can see somebody that is very okay. One day, the person drops dead. Doesn't mean that the person was sick. It could be that an organ just shut down and the person dies. Why I say this is for you to understand that if you want to spend money on buying things, try to understand the meaning of what you are spending money on. The truth about probiotics is that most people that use probiotics are abroad. Why? Because some of these ingredients used for probiotics are prepared in a conducive environment and certified to be used. But in Nigeria, most people that say they use probiotics are people that just wake up one day, they just put something, say, okay, if only ferments, it becomes this, without any proper certification or without any proper supervision from a trained professional on this. Personally, I'm not trained in that. So if I come now and tell you about that, you'll believe me because you see what I have been doing. But that's a lie. And I don't live the life of a lie. That's the simple truth. So it is only when you... Because why I say this is that when people tell you that they use probiotics, go to their pond. If possible, go to their pond. You have heard... The, at least you've heard the three things I mentioned. When you get to their pond, look out for those three things. Let them show you. And then they show you with the names I have mentioned. If you can't see it, that's not probiotics. You know? And some people believe that with probiotics, you don't need to feed your catfishes. But you have heard from what I read out now. The three methods of putting probiotics. So if you want to improve the digestive system of your catfish, you have to add it to the food that they eat. Every time, not once. You are doing it so that you, you, what it does is to improve the digestibility of the food they, in, they eat and clean off their gut. So every time you want to feed, you mix it. So for people that don't want to spend money but you want to do probiotics, you see, you have to mix it every time and then give your food. But that doesn't guarantee, that doesn't make the fish to be big. No. What will make your fish to be big is the ingredient you use in manufacturing your food. Two different items. The one you add in the water is to help you make that water to be habitable for your catfish. It never said that when you use probiotics, you don't change your water at all. This is, this is something that people don't understand. Using probiotics doesn't mean that you will never change the water in the pond. That's a lie. You will change the water in the pond, but you will not reduce the frequency of changing the water in the pond. But then you have to introduce the microorganism to that pond. That's why I say, if you're a new farmer, you are trying to start catfish farming. You don't need to go through complicated issues for you to start. 
But if you are an established farmer and you have time to try those things, yes, you can come by the side and dedicate one or two pounds and try it out. So next time, if you now compare the one you don't use it, the effort you put in that one, and then the one you use it, the effort you put in that one, you marry the two together and see the one that is easier for you, more efficient for you, gives you less stress and gives you better uh, return. Follow that way. But it's not about shouting, I use probiotics, you use probiotics. No! What is probiotics? I just explained it now. So if you are not doing these things that I have explained and you said you are practicing probiotics, well, the day that your cartridges will come down with sicknesses and everything, well, that day is surely coming. So you can understand that probiotics never said that you don't change water in your pond. No. It just reduces the frequency of you changing water. And if you're an eating pond, like I tell people, we have two types of eating pond. There is eating pond that dries during the dry season. And there's eating pond that during dry season, they don't dry. Now, if you're on this type of eating pond that if the rain goes down, the pond starts going down. I would advise you always change your water at least once every month. But if you're an eating pond that doesn't dry all season, what you do is once in a month do flow through system reduce the water and allow the water to enter if you are using tapolin pond if you are using concrete pond to avoid trouble and avoid mistakes i would advise you to do what change your water every two days the major thing you should concentrate on is concentrate on not overstocking concentrate on feeding your catfishes to satisfaction to get you your result when you grow in the business you can dedicate one or two ponds and try probiotics Mention any big farmer, any catfish big farmer that is doing probiotics. Go to that pond and confirm what I said. That's also what the person is doing probiotics. If you see one, let us know. But as of today, there's none. So if you see one as big as a passenger farm is, they don't do probiotics. They may be practicing it one corner and, you know, just practice, but that's not what they do as their major farm so you can go around and look for probiotics and see people see big farms you see because when you are aspiring to get to somewhere always try and understand what the people that got there before you are doing if people that got there before you are not doing it and you think that you just started yesterday that you now know it all well the end justifies the meat so if you have any questions on what we've discussed now kindly use the comment section and until i come your way next time my name is emily phone well okay of Flores farm keep farming the way of life.